album funding video update number four. I want to let you know what's going on with the record. Here we are at CRC. I got you up, but I don't hear you. I don't hear you, Curtis, unless you knock. So we're doing what uh, is commonly called basic tracks. And with basic tracks, you're just going to be focusing on the drums and the bass and building from there. It's like building a house. You want a strong foundation. And uh, okay. you know, CRC is, is a great room. Wilco recorded their first record there. In fact, I think in the, in the very room we're in right here, Smashing Palm Kids recorded there. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's renowned for its great sound. And uh, we wanted to make sure we got it right. So here we are rocking it out with Nick Kitsos on the drums. Everybody knows who Nick is. He's played with the Bodines, Cheryl Crow, Chicago guy Michael McDermott, Toe the Wet Sprocket, and uh, me, King and King Mixer. So this is it, man. I'm sorry, boys, but this just won't be on the record. Let me change this uh, string real quick. Might come in handy to have one. Oh, you broke the string? What happened? Pop the We're getting our drum sounds and bass together. Here's Austin Thompson, engineer. It just went so smoothly, and he just he knows how to get the best performance out of everybody, so no doubt he's one of the best. And Jake Crow, great singer. Jake's one of those guys where if you give him any musical instrument, he, you know, he will make music from it, good music from it. And that's another kind of story of this record is we're bringing, you know, sort of Chicago people. It turns out we're sort of bringing them out of retirement. <laughs> I was a huge fan of the Smoking Popes, particularly the album Destination Failure. That's an album they made for Capitol Records in, I think, 1997. There's songs off of the record that we are currently working on that sort of just caught the same kind of spirit as some of the songs on the Pope's album. Not all of them, but there were just ones in particular where I felt there was a kinship, like they were distant cousins in some fashion. So I, I sought Mike out through the Internet, um, and he said, send me the stuff to make sure that it was kind of in his wheelhouse. And so I did, and two weeks later... Here he is at CRC. He doesn't play his drums as much anymore. So to get him on this record was just a huge personal thrill. There's a couple of three songs on this record that I wrote when I was a teenager. And um, I always felt, though, that once I heard the Smoking Popes, I thought that the music sort of reminded me of the vibe of this song that I wrote called Earth Times Two. It was early in the morning, and I was talking to the fills that he chooses as a drummer, I felt literally like he was lifting me up as a singer. And I felt like I was singing in front of 40,000 people from the sheer velocity that he puts into his drumming and, uh, and the choices that he makes in the fills are always to serve the vocal and to empower the vocal and kind of drive the narrative along. It's really extraordinary. Um, in a film sense, it's like we thought we were making this independent sort of college film. And by the end of the day at CRC, it was clear that we were making Star Wars. And it is a day that can only be described as... Awesome. 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 